Right, so we're down here at the Clark Machinery Stand. We have Jason Clark here. Jason, it's been three years since the last planning. Is it good to be back? Yeah, it's good to be back. Busy crowds all morning. We're here since eight o'clock this morning. Crowds are building steadily. A lot of inquiries in already, so good, positive vibes around all the clown. Uh, it's been a challenging year for the machinery sector with regards to inflation and parts spike. Can you just explain to the viewers just the impact of these challenges on the sector and for farmers in particular? Yeah, well, look, at, look it's slowed down probably a bit there now. I suppose production is coming back. It is speeding up. Times are getting shorter with lead times in factories, but we weren't too bad. We had stock there and we were fit to handle it pretty well and it kind of paid off in the end. So. And looking to the future now with this supply chain issue, do you see it having much of an impact on the market or as you said, is it going to start getting back to sort of pre-pandemic levels and pre, obviously, Russia-Ukraine levels? It's, look at it, it's getting, it's coming back. So it is, it's all settling down. Farming is changing, I suppose machinery is changing, always has done, like typically if you go back 15 years ago, you're down at 150 horsepower tractors. Now you're talking 200 plus. The work has been just done at a faster rate, but that's farming, it's changing, it always is changing fast. So you have to be there willing to change. Like farmers have to be willing to change, we have to be willing to change, stock new equipment. Absolutely, and speaking of that change, we're seeing a lot more with uh, obviously precision farming. Has there been much from the manufacturers on pushing this precision farming in their machines? Oh, definitely, like big time. Like we, we've got three tractors here with guidance all built into them, and accuracy is key anymore. Like it's a big, big deal anymore. And uh, with regards to options for retrofitting, is that something that you can offer, or is that something that's on the table for a lot of manufacturers? Yeah, look, we to do some retrofitting off guidance. It is becoming more and more popular, typically in older tractors. Newer tractors, people are putting it in factory fitted. It is getting popular, like. It's getting popular. And with regards to, we have said that the plowing is back, the FDMTA was back as well. Does these sort of big trade shows, are they more beneficial than the online events that you had during COVID? Yeah, look, we've always been done plowing. We, every year, say like, we've been doing plowing this 10 years more and we do get a lot out of it, so we do, yeah. Absolutely, and uh, with regards to how the market is looking for tractor sales, are they up, are they down with the prices, the price increases? Can you just explain a bit more about the prices on tractors these days with the global rise in inflation? It's, look, at they been, have been increasing. There is more technology in them. It all depends on spec, what a customer wants. It's very hard to say if they, look, they are increasing, probably just, but the, at the same time, there is an awful lot more in spec on tractors as well, which is causing the... So they get a bit more bang for the buck now with the technology. Yeah, exactly, and, like all this. Look, technology, it comes, but it all comes at a price. Yeah, absolutely, so. yeah. So uh, I think that's all. Thanks very much, Jason, for your time. Okay, thank, thank you very much.